What up boys and welcome back to another video. So before we start the video, I just want to say thank you to everybody supporting my new written guide. I've never done anything like this. Uh, the amount of support I've received is insane. Even people that have already received Gold Cap and Longboat just buying it to support me. So I really appreciate that. And you guys seem to really like steady gold farms, and I can't blame you because everyone is chasing to get the long boy, and they don't want to like mess around with building up the uh, the auction house with transport and so on. So we've uh, basically gone around in a lot of different zones looking for more steady farms, and a really good way of getting like steady gold is being uh, is killing catamobs with the potion of treasure finding because it's going to give you the purium ore, the elementium, the raw gold, the embers of the cloth and all of the volatiles. All of these are like high in demand stuff so you're going to be making a lot of gold. And in today's video we're doing a farm in Twilight Highlands in Tundra Mar, like right next to Tundra Mar between these three uh, buildings right here. So this farm is similar to Volatile Fire and Volatile Water. The difference is we're going to be killing these Elemental mobs right here. And instead of dropping Elemental or Volatile Fire and Water, they actually drop Volatile Earth. So it's pretty much the same as those two farms. It's just, it's different because you get Volatile Earth. So uh, we did it for one hour. And the way that we farmed this, like you guys can see, the mobs pretty much spawn in a circle around this big vortex thingy. I'm not really sure what it is. So we had a five-man group and we had two people running uh, clockwise around this place. And we had the other three people running anti-clockwise. Because you never want people to be on top of each other. Like you don't want all five people to all of a sudden, due to different movement speed, be on the right side of this vortex. Uh, so it's good to like spread the people out. And we also had two people running like kind of in the outskirts of this dark area and the three people running just around this vortex. And that is because you want to kill as many mobs as possible, cover as many mobs so you can get them to spawn really fast. Uh, and there's a couple of these spawning like in this green area. So we had two people running like this, like just on the between the green and the, uh, the dark area, just to make sure that we kill all the mobs. So... But what you guys care about is definitely like, is it any good? Should I do it, right? So all of us, five people, we used Bear Tatar and obviously we used the Potion of Treasure Finding uh, so we could get the tiny treasure chests. And in one hour, the results is pretty much the same as you would expect from Volatile Water and Fire. I was the only guy who didn't get above a thousand Volatile Earth. I actually ended up with 934 because I'm never lucky. And then... 66 volatile life, 58 water, 49 air, 55 fire, almost 100 purite and uh, 85 elementium. Also got 1,366 uh, ember silk cloth, which is less than half of what we received on the uh, both Trogs and the Twilight Shore. And that's because obviously you're killing a lot of elementals. There's only a couple of these humanoid mobs right here. So it's mostly elemental mobs. And when it comes to gold per hour on these farms, it's really tricky. Obviously, I see your comments and you can't make uh, what I state in the title. Some people can't make more than what I state in the title because it really depends on the, the mats. So I'm going to have to go by the market value, but I will also say the gold per hour on my realm, which is a high pop. So all in all, like the market value and all of these mats, if they were to sell for market value, is like 32,000 gold right above it. That is... If you look at the market value, for instance, of Volatile Earth, I can make more gold in my realm than the uh, market value as they're going for 15 gold each in my realm, but only 13 gold, well, 13.6 market value. And then you have like the Pure Right Tower where the market value is twice as high as my realm. So on my realm, this would be rough, roughly like 22.5k gold in the value of the mats. We also got like roughly 3,000 gold raw, like 1.5, I believe, just from picking up from the tiny treasure chest and the mobs, and then uh, almost 1.5 more just vendoring all the grace and the green items. So overall, it's a really steady farm, and it's nice because I know a lot of you guys are doing volatile water and fire quite frequently, and some of you guys might even do it so often that you're struggling to move all the volts of fire and water. So I think that this is a nice farm to add to your rotation. Maybe if you can get yourself a group, you guys can go and you can do an hour of volts of fire and then one water and then one 
in Volatile uh, Earth because it's all in the same zone. So it could be good, like, to just... If you're lucky enough to get in a group that's dedicated and really want to do it, like just fly between them and do one hour of each, that could be really good. And that is pretty much it for today's video. So I'm going to keep on searching for uh, more steady farms like this and hopefully it's in your interest. If it is, make sure to subscribe to my channel and you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. But until then, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, bye bye.